for this tutorial. I decided to take a photo, what is it? At the first glance, it might be a photo to throw away. The horizon is not straight. There is not much light. But I chose this one precisely for the reason of demonstrating that thanks to brightness masks with artificial intelligence, we can have great results on apparently banal photos. Let's start with Camera Raw for the basic settings. And then move on to Photoshop using Neural Mask. Let's start by choosing the landscape profile to start giving a bit more opening to the shadows and especially a bit more color, I'll show you the difference between Adobe color and Adobe landscape. I don't know if you swim, maybe in this area here I go to tone. We start with a basic setting that is simply the color temperature. We're going to put a bit more of a warm color Then we go to fix what are the basic setting. So we are going to increase the exposure a bit. A bit of contrast. We lower the lights. Slightly increase the widths. Being careful not to burn her. And we're going to slightly increase the blacks. Then we go to fix things up a bit the luminance of the blues, because being a sunset photo, I don't want there to be a lot of presence of blue. And so I lowered the saturation and luminance. Here it I'll show you the difference. This area here, and then I'm going to fix the luminance and saturation of orange. So I'm going to increase the orange luminous a bit. Look at this area here and I slightly increase the reds. Obviously also adjusting the saturate. Having done Leto's fix the color a bit. From the other lights. Exactly this. We're going to slightly lower the saturation and color. And that's the color of the, of the shadows. This is more than enough. And we are going to lower the situation in this way. We have contrasted light and shadow. Now let's go and fix the sharpness. We lower the radius to 2.5. Increase the details to 70 and increase the mask. So, as not to leave for detects on the sharpness. Look at this area, here. Once we've done this, we can move on Photoshop and click open. And here we find our neural mask, which you can find by clicking on the plugin at the top. And then click on neural mask. So let's start the right away by duplicating the level and giving a little more emphasis to the lights. So we're going to choose one light too in the case of this photo, and we're going to mask it. Obviously the raw photo for the training is included in the price. Let's go open the curves by pressing Ctrl plus M in the case of Windows, or CMD plus M in the case of Macar. And we're going to increasing the light slightly. Let's click Apply, and it will apply the mask only on the lights. We duplicate the layer again. I do flat an image because simply for the tutorial viewing to always the levels visible. Because I usually duplicate and merge. I set the level so that I have them all available so that if I make a mistake, I can still go back and fix it. But in this case, I will always flatten the image so that it is always visible. We are reviewing what I'm doing. Now let's the curves a bit. So let's get it. 
I'd say a dark one to fix the dark areas. Because it still wants to highlight the contrast that I want to give to the photo. And click on Apply. Let's open the curves and give some volume. If you are afraid that you have darkened the shadows too much, but the contrast is still suitable. He advised you to slightly raise this as, let's see the result on the contrast. Okay. Now let's fix the horizon a bit so we can work in a way. Okay, prefect. I confirm. Perfect. We go again the duplicate our nice level. And give a bit of emphasis from the lights. We're going to choose a light to... We click on a camera raw to fix it. Let's set up the exposure a bit. And in this case, we're going to increase Slightly adjust the clarity to have maximum contrast. We click on OK and then apply having done that. We choose a classic white brush. We increase the size of the brush. and we choose the color white in order to go and to give more slight. To this area here. And as a diffusing method, we choose the soft lighter. Let me you show the difference. Now we go again to duplicate the layer of, and to choose the color. Of ours that is from the side of the sun and we take it towards white, but not too much, however. There must remain a bit of color. We are going to click on a new level. We chose issue a light one. Yes. We click on the new layer and click Apply. In this case, I'm going to give a brush stroke in this area. And I always choose Soft Light. Okay. And now let's take care of the dark area. In this case, we do it with the zone mask. Let's go and choose a zone mask number, um... Oh yes, a perfect two. So now let's create a new curves layer. Click on apply, let's go and get ready. Let's fix the dark part of the photo. Let's darken it a bit. Let's go give a bit more contrast. But increase the visibility of the blacks. To give a little more contrast and spice to everything. Let's create two new levels. One we call Dodge. The other we call burn, where we go to choose a lighter. One. And we apply it, and here we choose very low dark. I would say one light three is more than enough, yes. We click apply. Now on the part where we choose the light, we always leave the color we chose before. 
Let's go and give a bit of brush to the whole picture. Or at least in the brighter parts. Let's choose a soft light as we always do. We go to choose the color black, but not absolute black, rather a black. Um, this color here more or less does not show, obviously. These are the settings on the photo that you'll find. You need to choose the appropriate color for each photo. Usually the color palette is that of the photo itself, of the in short water from the original photo itself. In fact, this color is more or less that of this area here. Let's now go and color the whole part dark. That interests you. Darken and let's go give, um, let's overlay and slightly lower verbosity. I'd say now to give a little more general emphasis to the whole photos. So I'm going to take a light to, um, yes, to shut the security. No, I apply. I'm going to use my color again. Well, this time I have a bit more white and I'm going to give quite a lot here. I'm going to choose them like We duplicate the same level and also give more light to this part on the outer parts, but this time we lower it by 60%. The photo is almost finished. We can finalize it in camera raw. Where I go to get the masks. I take radial gradient. I'm gonna take this area here first. I'm going to raise the whites a bit. The blocks that I'm going to lower a bit there or clearness the days, forgive me. Let's fix the whites a bit, lower them slightly. Then I'll do a new radial gradient. and I'm going to increase the blacks again. I adjust the color temperature beat. I slightly lower the dehaze. Really clarity. And we are going to do the same job on this bright area. So we simply increase the whites. New radial gradient for this area here. From here, I'm going to only raise the whites. New radial gradient. I'm going to shed some light on this first floor as well. And here I also increase the contrast and slightly the clarity. We create a new mask this time. We make a linear gradient that starts from the bottom. Let's go shed some light of to emphasize the foreground. And now, to finish, we need to give a bit of shape in the light of the photo. So the part of light, let's do this work here. And we put more or less the center where there is the strongest light point. We are going to increase slightly, then slightly the black spots.
let's go slightly a bit of a color. Next, we do duplicate and invert mask. And here we do the opposite. We give a little more of a blue. And we are going to slightly lower the exposure. We click on OK. And this is what we can define as a finished photo. Here we can look at where we started. Where have we arrived? Now a picture, let's say, almost to throw away in a picture ready for printing. That's all for this first tutorial, and we'll see you next time.